Hey everyone, it's Ben here from exercise.co.uk and we've got another video for you today covering the topic of do you have to lift heavy to build muscle? Which uh, for most people, if you think about building muscle, one of the first things that you're going to jump to is lifting heavy weights, moving as much weight as you can with the intention to build more muscle. But we want to actually dive into, is that actually necessary? Do you have to lift heavy to, uh, to, to, to build muscle or can you get away with using lighter weights? Because there are downsides to lifting heavy all of the time. It can put a lot of stress on your joints um, and particularly over time it can be detrimental if you're lifting heavy relentlessly. And it can also for a large part become sometimes uh, detrimental to how well you're doing an exercise. So if you're so focused on lifting heavy and getting your new uh, personal best, then you can sacrifice your form and actually lose the purpose of uh, your training and the reason for doing exercise. So you're throwing the weight around in an unhealthy way um, so that you can reach a new personal best. Um, and it's actually becoming detrimental to your building muscle. The first and foremost, most important thing that you should be doing is making sure that the exercise in your form and how well you're doing it is nailed before you actually look at increasing the weight and really lifting heavy. So we just want to dive into that a little bit more and just demystify some of the elements. Uh, first up though, we're gonna cover um, body weight training and how effective body weight training actually is for building muscle for you. Now initially body weight training, if you haven't trained before, is going to be effective for, for building muscle, particularly on exercises, your classic exercises like uh, press ups, sit ups, uh, pull ups you might find more challenging initially as you get into the, which are pretty hard work, uh, but even dips, they're all really really effective exercises um, for building muscle as a beginner, but what you might find quite quickly is that you plateau in how quick you see the results because you become more accustomed to the same weight that you're lifting. Um, your body starts to become quite quickly adapted and the results that you see become less and less effective. So with body weight training, um, you can reach a plateau quite quickly. I mean, one way to help with that is to really slow the, the speed of the movements down and the time under tension that you're doing the exercises. So in the ex eccentric phase of the exercise, as you're coming down, say, into a press up, really slow that motion down and increase um, how long that muscle is under tension and then explosively come back up. And that will make it more challenging and, and will help fuel your growth a little further. But even then, it, it still has its limits. So you'd need to keep adding additional weight to your body weight to keep seeing those results and keep uh, challenging your body in new ways, which is one of the key ways to build muscle consistently. Now, getting really into the crux of the, um, the actual topic itself, moving on to light weights, and can you lift lighter weights, so more in, your, instead of your usual maybe five to 10 rep range um, for, that's optimum for, for building muscle, can you actually go a little bit higher than that and hit the 10 to 15 rep range and still build muscle? Or do you have to be within that specific rep range? Because uh, the fundamental element or one of the fundamental elements of building muscle is uh, causing micro tears in the muscle, which one of the most effective ways to do that is by lifting heavy and that helps create those micro tears and then we let those muscles repair through supplementation with proteins and amino acids to help the muscles um, repair back together hopefully in a, a, a slightly bigger stronger more powerful way time after time um, but is there another way to do that like can lifting lighter weights for higher reps be more effective. Well, science backs up and studies show that, yes, uh, that is actually possible. Um, generally for lighter weights, it is key that you really slow that range of movement down. Again, like the body weight training, uh, keep that time and tension really, really crucial. So in your eccentric phase, uh, you want to be looking at 
uh, about three seconds. Um, so really, really slowing that range of motion down. So if you was doing a uh, take a side lateral raise, for example, uh, you come up quite quickly, but you'd want to be really slowing that weight down as it comes down to the count of at least three seconds in, in that 10 to 15 rep range. So because your muscles are under sustained tension for a longer period of time, that is still creating those micro tears in your muscle, which is essential for growth. Um, but the actual uh, growth rate between using lighter weights and that technique and using heavy weights, the rate of growth is actually being consistent through both techniques. Uh, so lifting heavy isn't the only way, it's a very effective way, but if you do struggle with joint pain in your elbows or possibly your knees and you can't lift heavy on particular exercises or particular muscle groups, there are other ways that you can still look to build muscle. Another really, really good option uh, that, that reflects really, really well for lighter weight training is gem and volume training, which we have covered and we do have a gem and volume workout routine on our learn area on the website. Uh, and German volume training is doing 10 sets of 10 reps for any given exercise. So take a squat for example, you would pick uh, maybe 60 to 70% of your one rep max on, uh, on a squat and then do 10 sets of 10 reps with about a minute and a half rest between each one. Uh, because you don't have to use as heavy a weight, but your muscles are going through an endurance factor, you're still reaping the same benefits. And this is really good if you are training at home as well, and possibly you don't have as many weights at home as you'd like. German volume training is a really, really good way to get uh, your muscles and force your muscles through growth without actually having to lift heavy or it be detrimental to your joints. So coming back to heavy weights, because we are for absolutely, uh, in, and in no way at all, uh, saying that lifting heavy weights is detrimental to muscle growth. Uh, and we just want to recap on that, that lifting heavy weights is one of the most tried and tested and effective ways to do that. Uh, but what we recommend is actually combining lifting lighter weights and heavy weights together so that you can reap the benefits of most. One of the most effective ways is to start your workouts with your, with your heavier exercises and then progress on to lifting lighter. Or if you want to pre-exhaust your muscle groups for your heavy lifts, then you can, you can start with those lighter lifts and, and do some lighter weight exercises, then move on to your heavier weight exercises as you've already fried your muscles a little bit. Um, that can actually be a really, really good way to just vary your training up a little bit and hit your muscles in a way that they aren't familiar with. Because that's going to be one of the most effective ways for you to build muscle and one of the ways to build consistently is by constantly varying your training. So we don't mean every week varying your training, but at least um, every two to three months, you should be varying your workout routines and making sure that you're trying new, tra new techniques like German volume training, not just lifting heavy, but perhaps if you have been just lifting pure thoroughbred heavy weights for two or three months, just throw things on its head a little bit and just try lifting lighter weights for uh, the next month and a half, two months, and just try that time under tension, those negative reps and really slowing down the exercise and just seeing how that impacts your body and how it reacts in a different way. And you'll probably be quite surprised at the results that come from that. It doesn't quite have that same testosterone uh, element to it that, that lifting heavy weights does. But if you're getting down to the real core of it and thinking about what your goal is and what you're looking to achieve, lifting heavy weights isn't the only way to do that. And as we always say, sometimes you do have to just set aside that, uh, that egotistical training, which is just wanting to lift heavy and just thinking about what you actually want to achieve from your training. And if that is building muscle, then lifting heavy isn't always going to be the route you should approach. It's just one of many different ways that you can look at to do it. Um, so. Hopefully that gives you uh, a bit more variety to add into your training and a different outlook, hopefully a different way to, to, to spice up your training and um, a bit of relief if, if you, you, your knee joints are absolutely killing from squats because you think I have to squat insanely heavy, then there's a, there's a bit of a let out there for you to still continue to, to build muscle and, and grow in the way that we want. So we hope you found that really, really useful. Uh, feel free to head over to our learn area on exercise.co.uk where we've got hundreds of articles here for you covering all sorts of different topics from building muscle to strength, performance, endurance, uh, weight loss, there's workouts and exercises on there and plenty of content that's all free for you to, to just 
go through and, and, and absorb as much knowledge as you possibly can because that's going to be the best way for you to keep progressing and keep improving and, and keep finding new ways to bust through plateaus or, or um, uh, just educate yourself a little bit more if you're unsure on a few things. But at the same time, don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel and like, follow and share on all our social areas as well because we've got tons more content, tons more video coming. It's all going to be free. Uh, so stay tuned for more. Thank you.